everyone, uh, this is Corinne Hyde and I am going to talk to you about how you can share your screen in a Zoom call to uh, be able to use your Google Slides or, uh, or to use your Google Slides in your Zoom call but also see your presenter notes at the same time. So what I've done right here is I've set myself up so that I'm on my laptop because I wanted to do this with just one screen. Normally I'm on a big setup with two monitors, but I think most people are on one screen right now. So you can see what this looks like. So I have opened up Zoom. Um, and so here's my Zoom meeting window. And of course, normally I would have students and everybody in here. Um, and then over here I have my browser window. I'm using Chrome and I have my presentation open that I want to share with everyone. So what I want to do here is I'm going to share my screen, but what I don't want to actually share this view. I want my students to see it as a presentation, but I need to see the notes. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up here where it says present, but I'm not actually going to click present. I'm going to click this little down arrow. I'm going to click presenter view. And then you'll see what happens is I have a pop out here. Now notice that I have this set up so that this window right here is only half of my screen. Okay, I just manually resized it like this to where it was the size I wanted it to be. Okay, you can make it whatever size you want it to be um, and it will show up in a similar orientation on your student screens or your participant screens depending on what setup they have. So now I can put this wherever I want it to be. Um, I still have my Zoom uh, call right here. If your Zoom call ever goes full screen like this and just takes over and you can't see, if you go up to the top right, just hit exit full screen and then you can resize it however you want it to be. You see right here. Okay, and then I also have my uh, presenter view. Now what my presenter view does is it shows me a timer for my presentation. It shows my current slide and then right here I've got a list of the slides that I have. It shows the next slide that's coming up and then over here you'll see the speaker notes and then there's even audience tools. So like let's say you want to embed some questions in your presentation or whatever, you can do that and you can manage those from there. Um, but this way you can see what your notes are. You can even click ahead and um, or click to make it larger in here. You can click ahead to see, okay, here's what's coming next. And then it changes the slide here. So the only one you actually have to have visible is this. And you will know that your students will be seeing this. So what you can do when you want to present is you just get this set up the way you want it to be. Okay. Then you come over here set this up however you would like it to be. I like it, I like to just kind of leave it up in the corner like that and then I use this like this and then I come over here and I hit share screen and then I choose which window I want to share. So I don't want to share my presenter view because that's the notes and everything. Um, I want to share and I don't want to share my whole desktop because that would show everybody everything. I want to share this, my actual presentation. And if in my presentation I have anything embedded that's like, you know, a YouTube video or something like that, then I want to click share computer sound. I don't have the, that for this presentation, so I'm not going to click that. I'm just clicking this and I click share. And now the thing that is outlined in green, that is what's getting shared with my students. So this is what my students see. But this is my notes and my presenter view. And notice that you can't see the cameras now. But if you want to see the cameras still for students, like because they just disappeared, all you do is you go down here to where it says Zoom, give it a right click or an alt click or whatever, and then just click Zoom. And it will pop up your window if you didn't already see it. And then you hit back to meeting. Oh, we're supposed to hit back to meeting. It's supposed to show you your cameras. All right, let's do it this way. Uh, we will go to, let's see. Oh, I remember why it's because I don't have my video on. If I turn my video on, you'll see me now. Hello. Um, and you would see my students down here too. Um, see, I've been doing this for a long time and I still forget stuff. So um, if you had participants in the room, they would be in a little thumbnail like this. Um, and then you can adjust as needed um, up here and they will see that. Um, 
so that's it. That's all you need to know um, to be able to share your presentation, to see your presenter notes, uh, and also have Zoom going at the same time. And you know, you can keep other bring up other things as well and just kind of organize them however you want. So I hope that's helpful. Um, and uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Um, I would love to help you out.